You know what that word sermon means, right? Now, hold on. You might think it means nap time. You know, he's going to get the, get up there in his robe and he's going to talk. It might take him 15, 20, 25 more minutes of, of talking. But that's not just a break in the action. No, the sermon is here to be a teaching of God's word. The lessons that have come before, all tied in with the psalm, with the hymns, with everything else is tied together here. In the collect of the day, we prayed. Now we teach. And we hear that word of God's law, of his commandments, and of his promise, the grace that comes through Jesus' death and resurrection. And we focus on that. And it's applied not just in general, but for you. This is why sermons, you, you can't just buy them in a book and trot them out each week, or you shouldn't. But instead, this is the words of a particular pastor to a particular congregation on a particular day in a particular year that is really important. So you can go to a Higher Things conference, and it's a sermon for that conference, especially for high school-aged people. Or you go to church in the middle of August or the middle of November, and you have a sermon that takes into account the life of that congregation the life of that pastor and those people together, hearing God's word and being dedicated to it. And the whole thing goes through this process of the church year, recognizing all of the words and all of the actions of Jesus. And so no two sermons are alike because no two congregations, no two pastors, no two interactions between pastors and congregations are ever alike. And so each sermon is a special moment of God's grace between pastors and people that leads to the connection of God and his word, even to you.